On October 1st of 1972, the Department of Consumer Affairs was created by the City Council, charged with legal jurisdiction over unfair and deceptive trade practices in business and commerce within the Dallas city limits. We started out, for instance, in October with 18, averaging 18 complaints a day. In February, we climbed to about 43, which is about where we are right now. Now, overall, we've heard from nearly 6,000 consumers. Look, let me check the date on this repair, and that's February 20th that you had that done. And they did put a new motor. This was a new motor that they put in? All right. Then after it was repaired and you were on your way home and this one you checked it out and found that it wasn't still wasn't working? Still wasn't working. Yeah. All right. And it was well the only thing we can conclude then is that the man that repaired it didn't even test it before it left his shop. Didn't didn't test it. Uh, we receive a complaint uh, for investigation after it's determined that there's a possible violation of the uh, city ordinance being committed. The case has been assigned uh, to an investigator out in the field. Our first uh, step, uh, this is generally speaking, is to uh, contact the complainant for additional information and any documentation that might support that complainant's uh, uh, allegation concerning a business. We have to have all the supporting information and documents that we can get for the simple reason that most of these cases uh, have potential of winding up in the court. So normally, uh, this, this is generally speaking, on a first offense basis, we will issue what we call a notice of violation, which is a cease and desist order. And this tells the merchant involved that he is uh, believed to be in violation of the Dallas Consumer Affairs Ordinance, and he is requested to cease and desist uh, from that violation. Uh, if the case is uh, a very flagrant one or it's the second offense and we can establish this in court, uh, we uh, might seek prosecution in that instance. We've had 54 prosecutions, 44 of these are weights and measures complaints and 10 are consumer protection. In addition to these prosecutions, we have had rebates in goods, monies and services of some $75,000 for Dallas area consumers. And most of the time we are able to obtain compliance from the uh, businessman uh, involved uh, rather than go to court. And we would much rather see that happen because we feel this is a better deterrent and uh, it of course uh, is an immediate remedy to the uh, consumer uh, because they can obtain the refund or rebate of goods or services uh, in, in many instances. 